Hello, I'm Angelie Velasquez, and welcome to This Week in Review for March 23rd, 2012 on Green News TV. A project of the week is the Watershed House, built in 2011 in Washington, D.C. This prototype solar house entry from the team at the University of Maryland won the U.S. Department of Energy 2011 Solar Decathlon, an award-winning program that challenges collegiate teams to design, build, and operate solar-powered houses that are cost-effective, energy-efficient, and attractive. Watershed is a solar-powered home inspired and guided by the Chesapeake Bay ecosystem, interconnecting the house with its landscape to promote sustainability and ecosystem protection. Two rectangular modules form the house, and it is capped by a split butterfly roof, which is well suited to capturing and using sunlight and rainwater. Key features of the house include a green roof to retain stormwater and reduce the volume and velocity of runoff, and constructed wetlands to filter stormwater and gray water for reuse. The south module of the watershed house has an extensive green roof supplied by the Live Roof Hybrid Green Roof System with Live Roof Light modules. Live Roof modules feature the company's soil elevator and moisture portal, horticultural innovations that establish a green roof as a cohesive ecosystem. The live roof design unifies the entire installation into a naturally functioning biological system. Natural function maximizes plant health, long-term sustainability, rooftop aesthetics, roof membrane protection, and environmental benefits. To learn more about the Watershed House, click on our Project of the Week photo on our homepage. Watch our Green Roofs and Walls of the World Virtual Summit 2011, Episode 15, E equals MC squared of Green Roofs, ranking energy benefits by mission, climate, and construction by Chris Work. You may know him here as one of our contributing editors, the Energy Editor. And watch the rest of the videos in this series on our Green News TV page and or our Green News TV channel on YouTube. Advertiser press release. Trumco Headquarters Renovation Receives Cleveland Engineering Society Award. Tecta America Corp. announces enhancement of Tecta Green website. Live Roof launches overburden removal warranty program for its Green Roof system. Work and relaxation on a pitched roof. Functional roof landscape at... Salon SE in Berlin, Aldershof by Zinco. Job links update. Sika Sarnifel USA is seeking an inside sales representative in Canton, Massachusetts. Industry news. The District of Columbia is a national leader in the total amount of green roofs constructed, second only to Chicago, Illinois, in the total area of green roofs per capita. The district's green roof rebate program is the perfect way to fund your green roof, and now it's back in full swing. Anacostia Watershed Society is offering $5 per square foot on a first-come, first-served basis for qualified D.C. buildings of any size. Read our guest blog post, Screening the District with Green Roofs, by Laura S. Washington, Green Roof Rebate Program Coordinator of the Anacostia Watershed Society. And also our guest feature article, Portland Builds Over 100,000 Square Feet of Green Roofs in 2011 by Casey Cunningham, Landscape Architect with the City of Portland Sustainable Stormwater Division. And over at Sky Gardens, check out Linda's latest posts. Cities Alive, Call for Papers, extended to March 29, 2012. Greenroofs.com's This Week in Review on Green Roofs TV for March 16th, March 9th, and 2nd, 2012, respectively. And Green Roofs and Walls of the World Virtual Summit 2011, Episode 15, E equals MC squared of Green Roofs, ranking energy benefits by mission, climate, and construction. March 23rd and the 24th is the Open House and Plant Sale, Good Earth Plants and Greenscaped Buildings in San Diego, California. March 23rd through the 25th is the Better Living Show, Home, Garden, and Lifestyle in Portland, Oregon. March 29th through the 30th is the 10th annual New York State Green Building Conference in Syracuse, New York. Richard Lee of the Danbury News Times reports on Laurel Rock adds green walls to its offerings. Earlier this week, Laurel Rock, a Wilton-based landscape design and installation business, hosted George Irwin, CEO of Green Living Technologies International, where he demonstrated how his company creates green walls. Laurel Rock is the exclusive installer of GLTI's patented panel technology in the company's service area. 
Laurel Rock president Bert DeMarch believes gardeners will be interested in GLTI's edible walls concept because they can produce fruits, vegetables, and herbs in an easier way for gardeners who want to grow their own food but don't have the time or energy to do it the old-fashioned way. At the Millstone Farm presentation, George stood by a 2 by 6 foot frame holding plants including moss, waffle leaf, palm, ferns, and more. And he said this wall has light indoor plants which are relatively low maintenance. They provide an incredible opportunity to clean the air in the room. And that his idea was to mimic Mother Nature. It provides an opportunity for roots to migrate from cell to cell. Green Living Technologies International developed a program with the Innovation Charter School in Harlem where students learn the technology, preparing them for work at companies like Laurel Rock. Bill Markin of Garden Design Magazine talks about green roofs. He reflects on the evolution of green roofs being just an eco-fantasy to becoming the current eco-solution. He says green roofs have become natural fits for many public buildings thanks to the environmental and financial benefits like energy efficiency, stormwater management, sound insulation, while also being habitats for birds, bees, butterflies, and other insects and animals that help our environment. Residential green roofs will accomplish most of the same environmental goals, but the financial benefits will take longer to realize. There are do-it-yourself kits nowadays, but developing a sustainable green roof usually calls for someone who knows the structural demands, assembly systems, drainage, local conditions, plants, and maintenance. To explore the possibilities of having a green roof of your very own, author Ed Snodgrass and contributing editor here at GreenRoofs.com suggests starting out with a doghouse or a birdhouse. He says starting with a birdhouse is a good first step to getting your feet wet and understanding the limits and opportunities of growing plants in such a shallow root space. And from there, there's no place to go but up. To learn more about these stories and new ones posted daily, go to our In the News or News Link section of our website. Send us your green articles, videos, and images, and share your green roof or green wall info with the world. Make sure to keep up with everythinggreennews.com by following us on Twitter, liking us on Facebook, being a member of our network on LinkedIn, and subscribing to our Green Roofs TV channel on YouTube. This has been This Week in Review for March 23, 2012 on Green News TV. I'm Angelie Velasquez, and I'll see you next week. This week's episode is sponsored by the Green Roof Directory, brought to you by GreenRoofs.com.